Artificial intelligence is really on a boom right now, and I think there are a lot of great things we could do with, with artificial intelligence. Um, you know, AI is now used in uh, assisting pathologists so that we can do better diagnosis with the pathological slides. AI is being used by radiologists to better assist reading of the radiology films. And we're also using AI to predict better and to categorize patients better in different ways. Um, I think there, there's some excellent abstracts even in this uh, conference yesterday where the prostate cancer uh, AI was used to uh, you know, prognosticate early stage prostate cancer, and uh, the model that was presented was able to predict the long term outcomes uh, quite reliably. I mean, the, the author suggested that you know the prediction is even better than the NCCN classification. Uh, another excellent presentation was about uh, you know predicting the treatment response using AI model in localized. Uh, prostate cancer, uh, well, there's one issue of using ADT with radiation or not, and the AI model that was presented yesterday suggested that, you know, uh, you know in intermediate risk, risk uh, prostate cancer patients, uh, you know, ADT could be avoided in a subgroup of patients using the AI model. So essentially, we are using AI to do a lot of things now. Uh, one area of interest that we had particularly is to use AI to ascertain hard clinical outcomes from EHR data. So all development of AI model needs data endpoints structured for the training of the algorithms. So what we have done is we have, we have worked on automating the assertion of clinical endpoints uh, so that this can facilitate future research and training of the models. Uh, in precision oncology, what we need to do is we need to link clinical data with the genomic data. And you know, as more and more big data is available now through genomic databases, we need to have a mechanism to extract at large scale clinical endpoints like PFS, OS, reliably from EHR data. And this is where we have focused uh, most of our work and built algorithms to extract structured endpoints from unstructured data. Another area of interest is uh, living evidence. Uh, what we have done is we have created a software which creates living systematic reviews. So for a given clinical topic, for example, on the treatment of first-line kidney cancer, our software constantly scans the literature and identifies new studies and as soon as the data becomes available and then the studies go through a pipeline that uses artificial intelligence, screens the relevant studies, puts it into uh, the data extraction module where a human in loop works to extract the data. And finally, you know, there's a one push button and all the data is pushed to our website. So essentially we can maintain the living evidence profiles in real time and we share with patients, with clinicians. Um, I think you know, this couldn't be possible without advanced programming and advances in AI.